Hey, it's your girl, Maite, hanging out right here backstage at the Improv Comedy Club in Houston, Texas, man. The one and only. You guys know who he is. He's got so many names. Mr. Funny Man, White Chicks, Marlon Wins, whatever you want to call him. How you doing, sir? Marlon was the only name I knew, but that, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I like the other ones. I'm good. It's, oh, that's what's up. I got a question for you. I have been dying to know, what was it like to grow up in a family with so many siblings and all you guys are funny? Every single last one of you. Your parents must have had a field day with the belt. I already know. Um, after my mom's vagina healed, uh, <laughs> from 10 kids coming out of it, I think uh, she enjoyed the fun. It was, it was a good time. We had a, we had a lot of laughs. There's a lot of what you see on stage and... You know, we're, we're fun guys, and when we all get together, it's just one big kind of laugh fest, and uh, it's, it's good times. I mean, it, it's better than being raised in a with a bunch of criminals. Right. I'd be spending most of my time hot in my wallet. <laughs> but there's never a dull moment. No. But my thing for you guys is you paved the way for me for comedy. I'm not a comic, but I love to laugh. Yeah. So at the same time, like, I live in color. So many people came from that show. Yeah. Man, it paved the way for Jim Carrey. Yeah. I mean, your sister, everybody. It yeah. was just a great show. Do you guys plan on doing anything like that as far as family? Me you and Sean getting together and doing mm. something like that? No, that's not in the game plan right now, but I think eventually maybe we'll all get together and powwow on that because we really enjoy working together. Yeah. You know, like I, me chilling with Sean and doing this gig. It's, you know, it's always fun working with my brother. I love, you know, you do to do what you love, when you love, with who you love, and how you love to do it, uh, you know, that's the best, best combination of it all. I totally understand. And you guys are a perfect example of you are your own brand. A lot of people don't understand that. They get in this, they, they sell their souls, whatever, but you guys have always represented what you love to do. No, we tried to sell ours and there wasn't, <laughs> wasn't paying enough, so we kept ours. <laughs> Out of all the movies you've done and all the characters you've played, which one was your favorite one to do and easiest to do? Uh, none of them was easy. Really? <laughs> we just make them look easy. They were all hard uh out of all of them the hardest one was white chicks but it's probably my favorite that and don't be a menace really? willie well white chicks look so simple because i'm um, really seven hours of makeup wow we're playing two black guys playing two white girls very uncomfortable clothes we're playing like it's the summer in the hamptons when it's winter in vancouver okay. and um it was seven hours of makeup and then we'd work 14 hours, so we slept two hours a night, three hours a night for 60 days, me and Sean, and still managed to have fun. We wrote a bunch of books and did everything we needed to do, but like it was it, that, that, that was the thing that goes if we can survive that, I can survive anything. And wardrobe changes, I'm sure. Yes. How long did it take you to get in and out of that? Just pulling my penis back. <laughs> Make it fit inside those little skeevies. So, well, but you had tights. But you had tights on though, because you were rocking the high heels. Yeah, but I, I didn't want to rock it. I don't know how RuPaul's do it. Yeah, I would have yeah. quit being a transvestite a long time ago. Like, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Right, right. This ain't for me. Too much work. <laughs> I know that's right. And this wig itch. <laughs> Man, I mean, I just have so many questions. I don't even know where to go from here. But my people at home ask me, could you please ask him if he had children, a whole bunch of them, would he want them to live the same way? Absolutely. I want them to pursue their passion. I have two children. I have a son that's 13 and I have a daughter that's almost 15. And I told him, I sat him down and I said, listen, you guys are going to go to college. It's going to be very expensive. Don't waste my money. Right. What do you love to do? I don't give a hell what it is. Mm -hmm. I want you to pursue that. Don't do what I want you to do. Right. I don't care if it's marine biology. I don't care if it's rocket science. I don't care if it's political science. I don't care what it is. As long as you love it and you're going to pursue it and do it for free until you get good enough to start making money at it, to make it a business, I said, as long as you're willing to do it for free, then you do it. But follow your passion. Don't waste my money. Absolutely. Love what you want to do. There'll be more butt weapons coming from away. In. There you go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, Marlon. You got it. Real TV. That's Real right. TV. Peace.